First, I wanted to show you my desktop. So if you ever visit any Microsoft Office, this is, uh, this is how it looks like. Lots of penguins nowadays, right? Yes. <laughs> so let's kick off. So I will actually have only like three slides. Uh, first, to introduce myself, who of you have never met me before? Okay, then I don't need introductions. <laughs> okay, go, yeah, just, just go for it, Tony. Yeah, so um, I used to actually work for Red Hat before. I was there for eight years doing solution architecture, starting from enterprise Linux, satellite, then going to cloud stuff and OpenShift, and then I ended up doing lots of stuff with Microsoft when I was working at Red Hat. And then at some point, they asked me to join Microsoft. So why not? I was eight years at Red Hat already. I knew most of the partners, most of the customers, and most of the technologies. And Microsoft had a big ambition of become a very trustworthy open source player and partner. So it was quite nice continuation for myself. So nowadays I work at Microsoft European or Western European headquarters in the partner team. So I don't work with end customers directly, but I work with partners like Red Hat and Arrow and some big MSPs and systems integration companies in Finland and all over Europe. And one nice thing, what they promised to me when I joined Microsoft that it would be fun, there would be lots of traveling and I get to play with open source. So most of that day job is about traveling Talking about Linux, Red Hat, and OpenShift <laughs> on Azure, which is quite cool. And by the way, the only Windows thing I run is my workstation. But I usually use Bash in it, so quite cool. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> what I wanted to use my couple of minutes for is to first highlight about the big picture. Why? Microsoft is interested in open source, why are we so big partners? So there are a couple of key scenarios here. Running OpenShift, uh, running op enterprise Linux in Azure, because many of you are running it already in your data center, or you're providing it as a service to your customers, and want to move, your customers want to move to cloud, so that is quite natural. Fully supported in Azure. Then starting from the other end, enterprise Linux for SAP workloads in Azure. Same story, many of you or your customers are SAP customers, are Red Hat customers, and Microsoft customers already, and we enable running that in Azure. So it's a nice triple play or four times play partnership with many companies providing such services. And then the second from the right is the SQL Server on Linux. Personally, I've used SQL Server in like 99, 98, yeah, 2000, once or twice or twice, but not so much because it used to be a Microsoft product, proprietary stuff, and I was working in open source field for the past 20 years. But <clears throat> what the trades at Microsoft did, they kind of abstracted the product so it has the product core that runs on Windows and Linux. Cool, so you can run that in Linux on Azure. Many of customers who are moving from on-prem to cloud, they don't need to change the database engine, <clears throat> except if they're running some other database. <laughs> but Microsoft supports all the public, like uh, commercial ones and their open source ones as well. So there are lots of MariaDB, MySQL, PostgreSQL, and so on. But that's not really like my play. My play is mostly the Linux stuff, and then the fourth one, the OpenShift container environments on Azure. So what it is about. So if some of you attended the Red Hat Summit in San Francisco this year or have been checking the internet sites lately, so you should know by now that Microsoft and Red Hat co-announced a joint offering. We call it Manage OpenShift or OpenShift on Microsoft Azure as a service. So in the AMA session here earlier, we had the three scenarios like do it yourself, use the dedicated one, create your own cloud, and this is the fourth one, which is kind of turnkey SaaS solution offering for yourself, if you don't want to manage it yourself. Microsoft manages the cloud infrastructure, Red Hat is managing the OpenShift operations part, and what is rest for you to do is create applications and use it, and make business out of it. Makes it much easier to run. So fully supported, 
jointly by Red Hat and Microsoft. Uh, how did we end here? So there's a lot of small font, which you probably cannot see from the back, but basically it starts from 2017, this slide. What happened already 10 years before, before I joined, and many other people even knew that Microsoft was doing lots of open source. But where I got very interested about this is about here, OpenShift container in Azure Marketplace, and native support for Windows containers on Azure and OpenShift. So it's not only Python, it's not only Node.js, it's also the traditional Windows applications that you can run in OpenShift. So Microsoft and Red Hat are co-engineering together solutions that you can migrate your own or your customers' Windows containers to run on Azure, on OpenShift. Quite cool. I know next to nothing about Windows applications. Probably some of you know much better. <laughs> and now, <clears throat> OpenShift broker integration with Azure. This is quite cool stuff. And what you can do after lunch, most properly, come to the Microsoft stand and talk to me and my colleague Janne. Can you wave? So Janne is from Microsoft Finland's uh, customer success unit, right? So working with Finnish end customers. And I work with the European partner enablement team. And together we can help you like, find out how you can help your internal teams or your customer teams to run this kind of stuff when you have Microsoft services. And big thanks to Diane for inviting us as well. I'm happy to have you here, and we'll be seeing a lot more of um, the Microsoft Azure team at the KubeCon North America yeah. version of Open, um, OpenShift Commons as well. Yes. So um, it's a really ongoing and developing relationship. It goes back quite a ways. Yeah. Um, and it's just, it's, sometimes it stuns and amazes me, but Microsoft is doing open source and doing it well. So Yeah, it was a surprise in the beginning, but yeah. it comes from upstairs. It's quite cool. Yeah. So, after the lunch, come ask me about how to set up OpenShift in Azure. I know at least 100 ways it cannot be done. I've tried all. <laughs> and one way that works for sure. All right. Perfect. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. Thank you.